Five months, Pope Francis will canonize two of his predecessors, John the 23rd and John Paul the Second. John Paul is the only pope to ever visit San Antonio, and tonight, as we enter the eve of his sainthood, News 4's Randy Escamilla has a story of two women touched by a saint. Pope John Paul II spent only 22 hours in San Antonio, but from all accounts of those who met him, he loved every minute of it. He stopped in front of us and he said, San Antonio, muchísimo entusiasmo, and he did this. So that was very special. Sister Charlene Wedelick with the San Antonio Congregation Sisters of Divine Providence helped coordinate the future saint's visit. She worked behind <laughs> the scenes and says John Paul immediately felt the city's affection. As a result, the Pope ordered his security detail to put aside his limousine and instead ride in the more visible Pope mobile throughout San Antonio so that he could engage the massive crowds who turned out to see him. After the mass site, you know, when he rode around through the whole grounds, you know, in the Pope mobile with Archbishop, he said, only Pope mobile in San Antonio, no more limousine. <laughs> Myrtle Sanchez received a VIP invitation to meet the Pope. She was the Archbishop's secretary, but she says she almost left because the wait in the September heat was unbearable. But then suddenly, John Paul walked into the VIP tent and everything changed. The feeling that you get, you know, when you see him, especially when he touches you, it just, my, uh, my arm just got goosebumps, you know, and, uh, and I felt just peaceful. And I forgot that I was even, you know, perspiring. And I wasn't anymore, I don't, I don't think. Sanchez says her face-to-face -face encounter with the soon-to-be saint also made this iconic global figure seem so human. He was just so warm and so sweet. And, you know, he was just a nice person. I was kind of surprised because I was expecting a large man, maybe about six foot big, fellow and he wasn't he was just about I would say five eight but in his followers eyes John Paul was larger than life organizers say the entire visit transformed San Antonio in the best of ways I really think the Pope's visit might have been one of San Antonio's finest hours because it was the whole city working together more than a million people saw Pope John Paul II during his visit to San Antonio. And while many of us will never meet a saint, Sister Charlene says what's even more important is how we treat people in our daily lives. It's kind of maybe a wake-up call for all of us to, to say, how do we want to live our lives so that we can make a difference? A legacy John Paul left behind, now making a difference for those touched by a saint. Reporting downtown, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4, San Antonio.